Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is me, Teacher Pranithia, and I am a teacher with VIP Kid. And my topic for my channel is maternity leave. I noticed that there aren't a lot of answers from VIP Kid regarding maternity leave, so I have compiled a list of questions that I got from the Hutong to answer in regards to maternity leave and VIP Kid. Now, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am a mom of two. I have a four-month-old now and an eight-year-old. And my four-month-old sparked my idea for doing this page. And it also sparked my interest and concern about not knowing what to do when it was time for me to go on maternity leave to have her. So I went ahead and started making some videos. And today, I decided that it was Saturday and I'm in my dress down clothes, so to speak, not my orange work shirt. And I wanted to do something called Q&A Saturday. It's Saturday, it's comfy day, you know, Q&A Saturday. So today I'm an answering questions that I compiled from the Hutong um, regarding maternity leave. So, so, question number one, it'll be six questions by the way. Question number one, it says, is there a VIP care policy for maternity leave? No, there is not. There is no policy written for maternity leave in regards to VIP kid. They pretty much basically just suggest that you use the options that are available to you as if you were taking any other type of time off. If you notice in your portal, in a teacher portal, when you go to your bookings and schedule where the slots are available, where you click your slots and select what slots you want open, and that particular area is where at the top of the portal you can see it says availability. You can change your availability, you can X out however many days, um, and it also gives you the option to let the parents specifically know what's going on. So you can select maternity leave, you can select uh, like sick leave and hospital stay, things like that, or business appointments, all of those things. You can select when you put your availability. And then you can mark off however many weeks, days, months, whatever on your schedule and it'll show the parents so they can kind of get an idea of whether or not they should book you for that time. I mean, I accidentally, uh, last week, I had um, a dental appointment and I didn't know how I was going to feel when it was over and I accidentally opened some slots on uh, both days. I had a day for the appointment and a day to recover and on the day of the appointment, I accidentally accepted a priority booking and I didn't realize and it was all because I didn't use that availability option. If I would have used that, if I would have remembered that I had an appointment and this was why I was not taking any bookings on that day. So luckily I took um, the two bookings. One was on the day of the appointment and one was on the day that I thought I'd need to recover. So I only had two classes to deal with and I was actually fine. So I could have taught that day. That was kind of sad. <laughs> but anyway, on to number two. Can I tell my students that I am expecting a baby. I suggest that you tell your regular students that you are expecting. I have about almost 40 regulars now. I've been with the IPK for officially two years and I have almost 40 regulars and I took the time to tell them that I was expecting. I wanted them to know because they've invested their time, the parents have invested their um, trust in me and their time with me to be able to teach their children. And it, I just felt like it would have done them a, a disjustice if I didn't, um, injustice if I didn't tell them what was going on and where I'd be. I mean, I wouldn't not tell my family where I'm going and just fall off the face of the earth, right? No, 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 no. So, yes, tell your parents. And the way that you tell the parents and the families and your students that you're expecting, like I said in my previous videos, you tell them in your feedback, you go ahead and update your bio, and if you're on any type of social social, <laughs> social media platforms with um, your families like Weibo or WeChat, tell them in there too. That'll definitely be a benefit to you guys. So tell them in there, tell them just briefly, I'm Teach Pranithia, you put all your degree information and you say I'm going to maternity leave for one or two weeks or one or two months and you know you tell them to go ahead and try out the teachers and you'll be back and blah 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 and so forth so check out these other videos check them check them check them check out these other videos for more on that so 
All right, number three says, when do I tell my students? And should I tell my students, teachers, and family? So those, those two questions kind of merge together. Um, when you tell your students, I suggest you tell them when you get closer to your due date. So in my other videos, I mentioned telling them about two months out. So if you can hold tight, I know it's exciting and you want to tell them right away and things like that, but I suggest two months out. That way you kind of, you know what's going on, you, you kind of got an idea about your body, you know what's going to come next, you know you know how much time you might have to leave them for. So I suggest telling them about two months out. And like I said, put in the feedback, put it in your bio, put in the teacher, te teacher to teacher too, because your, your students, if they're your regulars, they're going to see new teachers while you're gone. And you want to make sure that those teachers know as much about their personality as possible. So you can put the little quirks and things that you know specifically about this student because they're your regular and be able to tell the other teachers. So do that. And number four, how early to stop taking classes to prepare for maternity leave? So this question is kind of worded funny, but it's pretty much when should I stop accepting students? When should I stop opening slots? When should I stop, you know, allow my parents to see my schedule and book? When should I put that availability there and, and stop teaching? Pretty much you want to stop teaching, I suggest, about two weeks before your due date. I say two weeks because I know for me, I'm having that big age gap between my children, an eight, eight year old, and I have a four month old now. And that big gap, it really wore my body down. Like my body went through like a shock. And I needed that two week period to just finalize a lot of things, making sure my daughter had everything, making sure we were packed and our, you know, the baby to come had the diapers, had the wipes, the room was ready, like all these different things. I just wanted to narrow a lot of things down prior to and just get some decent sleep because I knew I wasn't going to get any. Now, did I get much sleep? No. No, I did not. But it was a thought that counts. And I tried my hardest, but I did benefit from having two weeks off of like no teaching whatsoever. So, all right, on to question number five. It's Question number five. It says, will I lose my regulars after returning from my maternity leave? No. Your regulars are going to be right there. They're going to be right there waiting for you to come back. No shame, no game, waiting for you. You are their favorite teacher. Be encouraged, be inspired. You are their favorite teacher. They chose you. So they're going to be waiting for you. It might take a little while for the influx to come in. I'm going to do another video on this, but when I initially came back, I just opened one slot. One slot in November. I was like, let me see what's going to happen. I opened one slot and got one book. And then, and it was a new student. The uh, next week, I opened maybe 12, maybe 15. I did like three a day or something like that. Um, and mind you, my husband was home during this time. And I also was nursing, still nursing, but I nursed my baby. And so during this time, I wanted to make sure he was home. You know, just in case something went away, she cried, you know, and we weren't expecting it, whatever. I, so I planned this out fairly well. I mentioned that in my other videos. Take a look. But um, making sure that somebody was home, making sure she had a bottle if necessary, and then just opening a few slots based on what your body can handle. I did that. It took me about two and a half, about two months, because I had her in September, and I did one slot in November. So October, it's November, the end of November. So yeah, it's about roughly two, two and a half months that it took me to get back in the game and get back in rotation. Uh, by December, I was booking pretty much 80% of what I opened. So that was a plus and I made a nice, decent check uh, for the month of December. So I was very, very pleased. Um, so just know when you come back, know your regulars are going to be there waiting for you. It's going to take them a little while to realize that you're back. It might take a couple of days, a couple of weeks, but they'll be back. And the plus side is new students come. Kids I have never met before, they kind of just flooded in. And then there was also some um, new certificate options that I was available to me. So I got those certificates and it just went poof, it blew up. I was so excited to meet a lot of new kids and a lot of them contributed to the 40 that I have now as regular and interested students. So I was excited about that. Um, and last but not least, we have question number six. All right, so I saw a question on there. It mentioned how to juggle two kids 
and return from maternity leave. Now my kids with the age gap, it works out for the most part for me because my eight-year-old can pretty much take care of herself. I hate to say it, it makes me really sad inside, but But my eight-year-old, she takes care of herself pretty much. I mean, I just pretty much, hey, did you do this? Did you remember to put on deodorant? Did you brush the back teeth? Did you, did you take a shower? Did you wash in all those special places? Did you eat? Like, that's all I have to do. I just question all day. Sometimes I get yeses. Sometimes I get noes. Sometimes I get, I'm about to. Yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. But for the most part, my eight-year-old takes care of herself. So majority of my focus goes to our little one who is doing so much, y'all. I can't wait. I can't wait to do a lifestyle video and show you guys. But she is growing so fast and made four months on the 30th. And it is just absolutely amazing and adorable watching her grow. And back to the point, that age gap for them helped me make my schedule. So my eight-year-old, she's pretty much asleep while I'm teaching. Um, and my four-month-old now, she sleeps in her own crib, of course, safety first. Um, I have the camera on attached to her crib, and I'm able to see her while she's sleeping. So I make sure I book my schedule over my slots and stuff like that, except booking in between her sleep schedule. So I know when she's sleeping, I know when she's awake approximately, or I know what I need to do to make sure that she stays asleep the entire span that I'm teaching. So I pretty much open slots from four to 6.30, so my last class would end at 7, so from 4 to 7. And now that, you know, I do that during the holidays, and then I teach from 4 to 6.30 because I get my daughter up and get her ready for school and stuff like that, help her get ready. So I teach for about two-ish and a half hours almost um, a day. So that's pretty much 63 slots open for me during the week, and booking has varied because of the holidays, but usually I book about 60% of those slots. So it's coming up because of my maternity leave, things slowed down, things picked up, and you know, so it kind of just varies up and down. But for the most part, making that schedule when you have two kids or more is pretty much just when, if you decide to teach in the morning, of course, watch their sleep schedule. You know your kids, pay attention to that. If you decide to teach in at night, once again, it's all about sleep schedule, honestly. Even you, you have to watch your sleep schedule because you don't want to push yourself so hard that you're not getting sleep because you're trying to collect the chain, chain, chain. So you got to be mindful of, of the chain, chain, chain. Yeah, it's important. And I know it's our livelihood for some of us. This is extra income for whatever reason, whatever your goal is. But taking care of you and taking care of your family should be first priority. And then once you're able to do that successfully and confidently, then you're able to put your full effect into the classroom. So, I hope I answered you guys' questions. Like I said, I got these off the tongue, but I want to answer more. I want to continue to do more Q&A Saturdays. So you guys, it's up to you to give me some topics so I can get this thing going, okay? So, we're going to continue to talk about maternity leave for a little while longer. There's some other things that I want to bring forth because I want to share my schedule with you guys and I want to let you guys know that you can leave and come back to like a full schedule and you can also leave and come back and be able to do it successfully even with your child especially if they have to be present while you're teaching dun 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 i know so it's a scary thought to know that your newborn might have to sit in your office space while you're teaching your class i know it makes you panic don't worry i got tips for that too so remember all of these questions and more can be answered uh, if you leave a comment with your questions, I'll be glad to answer them on Q&A Saturdays. And I put out a video every Thursday unless something crazy happens. Every Thursday, 12 noon. So make sure you're there to check it out when it premieres because I have some more videos coming your way. Alright, so this is your girl, Teacher Pranithia, Teacher with VIP Kid. I love you guys and thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and press like. And I will see you guys next time.